Hello, Days of Lives fans. This is for Wednesday, November the 20th. Please like, subscribe, and share. Well, Rafe goes uh, into the station to turn in his gun. Uh, he's done. He doesn't want to work for the department or anything. He doesn't like the way they treated him, and I have to agree. Pauline has really been a witch about this. And, uh, you know, Jada's like, are you sure it's just not about, you know, me working for a woman? And he said, no. And she said, this isn't about your pride. And he's like, okay, so it's about my pride. But I should have been treated better. I got hurt on the job. They were supposed to, you know, save my job. And he said, I'm, I'm not going to cause any trouble for Paulina or for you. I'm just going to go on and do something else. Paulina comes in and she's talking about the cupcake caper. And Rafe informs her he's no longer working for the police force. And she acts like, you know, she don't give a shit. So, Kate comes in later and says, uh, she goes to tell them, they, she, her, she and Bonnie decided that they think it's Hattie. Uh, but we will see. So, uh, JJ runs into Gabby. It seems like they got a little spark, a little thing, a little round round. And uh, not sure what's going on there, but she tells him if he needs any help, she's there with him. He confided his secrets with her. They seem like they have a, a connection there. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, but she said she's willing to help him with anything that she can. So when Bonnie and um, Kate ran into each other earlier, Bonnie was telling her about how the spoilers had gone live on Lady Whistleblower. And uh, Kate starts to freak out, and then she's like, I gotta find out who's poison, who all got poisoned by the cupcakes, and who did this. And Bonnie said, We know who did this. This is the work of Hattie. She even threatened us. This is right up her, her alley. So uh, they are convinced that Hattie is the one that sent all the cupcakes, that poisoned them if they are indeed poisoned. And that that's who the police need to be looking at is Hattie. Meanwhile, um, Leo has gone up to chew Javi, a new one. And then after he's talking to him for a few minutes, it becomes clear to Leo and me that, you know, Javi didn't do it. It looks like he did it, but he seems to be innocent. But since he said all the Leo said all these things to him, he said, you know, before you came in, I was thinking about taking you and having my way with you right on that desk. But now... I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. So he wants nothing to do with Leo because of the way he treated him. Chad and fake Abby are coming up with a plan. Leo calls them. He wants them to check into a hotel. So they're going to get some decoys and watch the hotel. But they don't know who to get. But JJ comes into the room and they're talking to him. And he says, I'll do it. I'm in. I don't care. And Chad's like, do you know how dangerous this is, J.J.? You know, you could get hurt or even worse. And J.J. said, I know the risk, and I don't care. I'm in. I want to help. I want to I wanna take care of this. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.